Hi, I'm going to show you how to directly assign a, a classroom uh, castle learning assignment into Google Classroom okay? or link it anywhere else for that matter. Um, this is assuming you already have used castle learning or um, at least have watched my other video. So if you don't know about castle learning, you're not going to want to start here. Okay, here's my assignment list uh, for my reviews. Uh, I've got a couple of made up ones here and I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna use this top one, which is called COVID. <clears throat> and uh, here's how you normally would assign to students and edit and all that stuff, delete it. Uh, there's a new icon here. It looks like an infinity symbol. It's actually the link symbol, you know, like links of a chain. And if you've used, uh, other programs, they use that as the link symbol. Okay, and what I'm going to do for this assignment is I'm going to click on that link and I get this familiar, somewhat different, but uh, fairly familiar screen where I can change this into a quiz and give a time frame. Uh, I'll just have it for today or whatever, or always. Okay, and I can click these things here randomize order, let them use math tools, allow them to change the language if they want. I can even put in a few notes. Okay, once I have that done to my liking, I can create a link. It just takes a little bit. If I wanna copy it to the clipboard, I just copy that and this link is actually copied on the clipboard. So if I wanna put that link onto my website or in a document, uh, I can do that or anywhere you can paste, okay? The other option you have here is to directly create an assignment into Google Classroom. The advantage of that is those of you who use Castle Learning knows it already corrects for you. It will actually put the grades um, with another click to import. It will put the grades into your Google, Google Classroom grading system. Okay, and I'm understanding that when, by the time school starts, we will be able to couple of clicks from Google Classroom and it will also be entered in school tool. Okay, so there's a bit of an advantage here doing this. So that's the little classroom icon, the green chalkboard. And if I click on that, I should now get a little menu here that tells me all my class names. Now, right now you're thinking, why is Sarah Miller in there and Liz McGarry? We're helping each other with these videos and, and sample units and things. So we're letting, we have co-taught these things just to uh, see what's going on. So mine is called Sample Earth Science. So that's where I'm gonna send this. And it gives me a title called COVID, which is the title I gave to that assignment and click link to start assignment is the directions. You can add directions there if you want. Now I'm just gonna hit okay. And you can see chugga, chugga, chugga. It will do that shared to Google, okay. So now I'm gonna go to my Google Classroom and it's probably, I don't know if it went in here but we shall see where it went. Okay, so did I just go past it? Probably I'm blind. Okay, oh, it does, has no topic yet. Okay, so it's up here at the top under COVID. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and edit that because I want it to show up um, somewhere else. Okay, so I want it in let's say one of these topics, okay? I would click that and it'll move it to the topic. Then I can change my due dates as well, okay? Um, the way we normally would in Google Classroom and you pick whatever date and the time, whatever, and you're good to go. So now the kids, when they go in, you can, you can obviously add instructions, but they would click on this and they do the assignment on Castle and it goes right into your grading system for uh, Google Classroom, as well as you can still go to Castle Learning and get all those reports that some of you love. 
things like the um, item analysis and all that kind of stuff can still be done. Okay, so uh, then simply, you know, any changes you've made, we are just going to click save. And just to show you, it is now dropped into its new um, little position here. And I will delete that later. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Um, it's a very easy way to, um, to test kids, to check kids. You know, you can put three questions on there. You can put 50 uh, any way you want. Any questions, please see me.